Whether you're struggling with player fitness or you just want to learn how to train your players most effectively, in this video I'm going to help you all by teaching you how to train your players when you get your training sessions. So for this example, I'm going to be using Manchester United. We already played in our first friendly and we're about to take on our second friendly, but I do have my training available so I'm going to train my players just before the match. And for training, basically what you want to do is train your players as soon as you get your training day. Don't wait a couple days. As soon as you get your training day, make sure you use it. So for this example, I'm going to be using three players. First, I'm going to be using Jesse Lingard because he's the only player in the starting 11 who hasn't played a game yet. And as you can see, on his fitness, it says not match fit. Player fitness capped at 90% as they have not played in the last four matches. He hasn't played in the last game, so his fitness is capped at 90. The other two players I'm going to be looking at as well is Marcus Rashford, who has 92% fitness, and Anthony Martial, who has 86% fitness. All right, so if we go to the training tab, here you can see we have two slots available, and I put fitness and tactical for a reason. Physical basically gives you the most fitness, and that's what you want to do. You want to have the most fitness as possible, especially in the earlier stage where you only have two slots. And also I put tactical, because that also helps with your chemistry, so it'll boost your player chemistry if they're low on that squad chemistry. And something I highly suggest, is as soon as you win your first game, use your first manager point on the first training manager because that'll give you an extra slot that you can put another drill in. Because right now, if you see on the right, our fitness is plus eight out of 10. So you get 10 points maximum for fitness and you start out with two no matter what drills you put in. And because I had fitness and tactical, which add up to six fitness, I currently have plus eight fitness. But you wanna make that the highest as possible so you want to add in another drill that adds a plus two. So I'm going to add in defending. So now I have plus 10 out of 10 fitness, which means my players will get the maximum fitness they're allowed to get. Now, when you get your reports back after your training drills, as you can see from mine, my training capacity is currently over the capacity of 24. I'm at 46. So you get a 2% penalty for every player that you have over your training capacity. So right now I have 22 players over my training capacity. So I have a 44% penalty. And this penalty basically means not all your players get a chemistry boost if you use tactical. And the way the chemistry is allocated, the players that get the chemistry are usually the lowest players in your squad with chemistry. So someone who has 60 chemistry will more likely get it than someone who has 80 chemistry. So it basically works like that. And also the fitness levels that increase, there's a 44% penalty to that. So now if we go back to our three players that we were looking at before, Jesse Lingard, again, he's not match fit. so. He doesn't go up in fitness at all. His player fitness stays at 90%, so that is his cap. So basically you can't increase it anymore. Marcus Rashford's now a 95, and you would expect if he was a 92 before that he goes up all the way to 100. But remember I said there's a 44% penalty in my case, so he doesn't get that full plus 10 stamina boost. So you wanna make sure you reduce your training capacity by either loaning out unnecessary players or transfer listing players and getting them out of the team. And now Martial, again, he was at 86, now he's at 89%. And that's again because I had a 44% penalty, so that affects my team negatively, so my players do not get full fitness, because he should be at a 96, but that's not the case because of the penalty. So that's what you want to make sure of when you're training your players. It's very essential that you do this in order to get the maximum amount of potential out of your training drills. So that's basically the key things you need to know about player training if you ever want to train your players. I hope that helps some of you. If you still have more questions, make sure to leave them in the comments. I'll try to answer them as best as I can. And thank you so much for watching.